Hello, Mr. Geiselhart here, and I'm going to go through uh, one of the questions on 4-12, um, how to get the equation from the graph. So the first thing we're going to do is fill out the middle amplitude period and shift, and then from there, we will write the equation. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is start off by looking for my middle. Well, the middle of my graph here, I'm just going to draw this line in like that is right there. So that means my middle is at 3. My amplitude, that's how far up I go from the middle and how far down I go from the middle. The amplitude in this case is also 3. The period, the period is when I go from 1 and then I start over again in the same spot. So if I go from here and I draw on a line and it goes all the way to here, that means my period is going to be pi over 2. Now, I got that because it's pi over 4 to there plus pi over 4 to there, and that would be 2 pi over 4, which is equal to pi over 2. Then the next thing we have to do is look at the shift. Now, in this case, I'm telling you that we're going to use a negative sign as part of my equation. Since it's negative sign, it's going to start in the middle of the graph because sine always starts in the middle, but then it's going to go down. I'm also saying that I have a shift to the left. So I want to find the point that's in the middle of the graph where the graph will start to go down. In this case, that's going to be negative 3 pi over 8. So my shift is negative 3 pi over 8. Now, when we're going to write the equation, in order to do that, I'm going to start with y equals. My middle is 3. Since it's a negative sign, it's going to be negative 3 times the sine of, we have to find our b value. Remember, the b value is always going to be 2 pi over the period. In this case, it's going to be 2 pi over pi over 2. So to simplify, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom both by 2 so I can get rid of this fraction. That will leave me with 4 pi over pi. Pi over pi cancels out, so that leaves me with just 4. So my b value is 4. And then to find my shift, remember it's the sign here I'm going to have plus because it's a negative over here for the shift. So when the shift is negative, that's positive, and then that will be 3 pi over 8, and that should be your equation. Now let's take a look at a cosine problem. In the cosine one, we're going to start off by doing the exact same thing we did for sine, and that is to find the middle. So the middle of my graph is right here, and I'm just going to draw it in both directions. So my middle is at 2. So I'm going to write that down here. So my middle is at 2. Then I'm going to find my amplitude. Well, I'm only going up 1 or down 1 from the middle, so my amplitude is 1. My period, if I start here and I trace until I get to another one, my period goes to there. So that goes from negative pi over 8. So that's 1 pi over 8. That would be another pi over 8, another pi over 8, and another pi over 8. So one way of doing this is to just count. That's 1 pi over 8, 2 pi over 8, 3 pi over 8, 4 pi over 8. Well, 4 pi over 8 is going to give me pi over 2. So my period is pi over 2. Now, it tells me that it's a negative cosine. A negative cosine means I have to start at the minimum. Okay, my minimum is just going to be the middle minus the amplitude. So my middle's at 2 minus the amplitude is 1. That means my minimum is going to be at 1. So because cosine is negative, I'm going to have a mi uh, minimum at 1, which is where I'm going to start. It also tells me I'm shifting to the left. So where, if I start at 0, where's the first time the graph will be at a negative, I'm sorry, be at 1, which is my minimum. And that is at negative pi over 8. So my shift is negative pi over 8. Now, to write the equation, all we're going to do is go y equals, and we have a middle of 2. It's a negative cosine, so negative 
cosine. We could have put a 1 in there, but that 1 we don't usually write in there. So sometimes we'll put a 1 in there because my amplitude is 1, but we don't have to put that in there. So cosine. Now, to find my b value, it's 2 pi divided by the period, which is pi over 2. So if I multiply by 2, multiply by 2, I get 4 pi over pi. Pi cancels out, so that's just going to be 4. And then we have x. And since this is a negative pi over 8, I would have to add pi over 8 there, and that gives me my equation.